Okay, hi everybody. This is Cindy with Magazine Mama, and I'm here with David today, and he's going to talk to us about how he uses the basic digital photography curriculum in his photography business and share a little bit of advice for others. So, um, David, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself, tell everybody where you're from, and a little bit about your photography business. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, as she said, I'm Dave Anderson. I'm uh, uh, a certified professional photographer based in Annapolis, Maryland. And as you can might guess looking at me, I'm a uh, seasoned photographer, been, been around for a while. I've been basically involved with photography pretty much my whole adult life. And um, uh, I have a small studio here in Annapolis in a commercial location. And one of the really few photographers that has a commercial location anymore in this area. Um, so I have that, and then I also have a little uh, photo school in addition to that, uh, which is basically these days, basically just me teaching basic photography classes to amateur photographers primarily. Okay. And, um, and what made uh, you want to get started teaching photography? Uh, probably like a lot of people, I always had uh, clients asking me if I could show them how to use their cameras or asking me about photography and I thought you know I could make a make some money doing this possibly yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, I uh, uh, back uh, I think I started actually teaching classes about maybe about eight years ago something like that and you know I of course I I knew the information but I didn't really know how to outline it and get a curriculum going so that's when I found your your course and that really helped me um, get everything off the ground and mm -hmm. I put up a website and started marketing it and that's pretty much how we got started. Great and so before we talk about how you're marketing and getting students um, tell everybody what type of photography classes that you're teaching because I know there's a variety and there's one like really specialized photography that I'm really interested in finding out about more too so. Um, yeah I'm my most popular class is what I call um, uh, DSLR basics and it's using your uh, primarily using your digital uh, I think digital basics mm -hmm. course whatever it was called and um, I've modified your course slightly, you know, to fit my teaching needs, and I've added some of my own images, and I use um, uh, various props, and uh, I've also incorporated, I think, I'm not sure if you still have it, but you used to have an introduction to digital photography course, and I kind of incorporated that into the other, into my main class. And uh, it's actually a four hour class. So I typically have it on weekends. Mm -hmm. And um, because I tried separating it up into two, two hour classes, but it was hard to get people uh, committed to two different dates. So I, I just do it on a set typically on Saturday, uh, like from 10 to two. And like I say, it's four hours because I also incorporate uh, props and make, I, I not only am giving them your workbook, to fill in the blanks. I'm also, of course, showing the slideshow that you created. Um, again, I've modified things a bit, but still the basics are there. And also uh, I make sure they know how to use them. I actually have a camera hooked up to uh, a TV monitor, or my camera hooked up to a TV monitor so I can show them my settings. And we, uh, I don't know if you can see in the background here, but I have um, uh, some props, like a little pinwheel I use. I'm not sure if that's showing up in the camera and I have a um, little mannequin there and so we demonstrate things and I make sure each person gets a chance to use their own camera and uh, make sure they know how to find the settings and, and okay. so forth. Right. And um, how were you able to find students like talk about a little bit about the marketing of it. Yeah, initially when I was first starting, uh, like say, I think it was like seven or eight years ago. Uh, Groupon was pretty popular at the time, and since I was getting started, I actually used Groupon, and um, I think at that time we were selling the classes for about about $99 each, mm -hmm. and we were having some pretty large classes. My first few classes were, I mean, for this, my first few classes we uh, held in a uh, 
small hotel down the street and we had like 24 students oh. uh, for class and and also had a, a friend of mine who's also a certified uh, photographer he's been working for me off and on for like over 20 years mm -hmm. and uh, he also helped me teach those classes but, uh, wow. but today I keep my classes limited um, to you know make them smaller but but getting back to what you actually asked mm -hmm. um, I used Groupon initially, uh, but now I primarily um, get the word out. I have a pretty extensive email list, okay. uh, like somewhere around 3,000 plus oh, very people good. in my email list, uh, mm -hmm. you know, clients. So I email that out when I have a class coming up. Of course, I have my Facebook pages. Um, also have a listing on Meetup. And um, I usually put a post in LinkedIn and then I do some in-person networking around town here too. So use multiple ways to get the word out. Okay, very good. And have you ever grown your email list like specifically to get students or is it basically you grow your list to get clients and then you email the clients to teach them? Um, a little bit of both, I mean, both actually, but uh, yeah, I have a sign up form on my, uh, uh, photo school website and people call me fairly regularly to ask about classes and so forth and I add them add them to my email list okay. and if I don't have a class coming up I you know tell them I'll add them to the list and they'll definitely be one of the first to know when I do set up a new date and that sort of thing. Nice. Okay and then um, you said you were charging around 99 for the larger classes and you've gotten smaller class sizes now do you still keep the same price or are you charging uh actually i'm up for for that class it's uh it's 149 now mm -hmm. uh so 149 and i typically well during pandemic i was keeping it limited because my mm -hmm. i have the classes in my camera room which is pretty small mm -hmm. so i was keeping it limited to just four people but now i'm back up to my um usually six to eight people so it's it's a good way to make you know a thousand thousand bucks or so on a Saturday morning yeah. and um, yeah. so that's 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 what it's at now and then I also do private lessons as well where okay. people can actually book those right on my website so they can go in and select which lesson they want or lessons I have where they can either take an individual lesson of one or two hours or a series of lessons and then they pay those range from like a hundred to about one hundred and fifty dollars uh, per hour, depending on, on, um, you know, which mm -hmm. uh, class they book. Mm -hmm. And like I say, they can book that if it's a series of classes. They book the the date and time for their first class, mm -hmm. and then um, once they come in for that one, then we set the date okay. and time for the next next class. Very good. Okay. Yeah, that's very helpful. And then I know you mentioned to me that you're teaching army photographers as well and that's really interesting because my daughter's pursuing a career in the army right now so yeah can you i just thought that was really interesting so can you share a little bit about that and you know how yeah um what most people probably don't know is that all military photographers are now trained at fort meade here in maryland mm -hmm. which is only about 20 20 maybe 20 to 30 minutes from my studio here and actually started several years ago, actually before I was even teaching, uh, um, you know, regular classes, but they actually sent, it was, at that time, it was still just the army located at Fort Meade, and they sent their combat photographers down to me, wow. a group of maybe 10 or 12, just mm -hmm. to teach them a little bit about lighting. Mm -hmm. wow. And so I did that. But then more recently, I think it was about three actually maybe four years ago, the public affairs officer at Fort Meade contacted me and he has public affairs officers around the country. Mm -hmm. And um, he wanted first, he wanted my advice on buying new camera systems mm -hmm. for them. He said they're, you know, most of them have like journalism experience and that sort of thing, but they had no photography experience. So I recommended, um, you know, a camera system for them that I thought would be easy and also hooked them up with a uh, camera store and they wound up buying several uh, packages mm -hmm. for all their public affairs officers. Mm -hmm. And then after they got them, he contacted me about doing training. So mm -hmm. I actually, uh, he actually had his public affairs officers fly in from around the country and I taught a full day class 
uh, at Fort Meade. Wow. And um, it was essentially your class, but a little more extended, mm -hmm. or your curriculum, but a little more extended and, you know, more, uh, since it was a full day, mm -hmm. a little more involved where we actually demonstrated um, how to photograph groups. A lot of them, you know, they photograph retirement ceremonies and groups of people and that sort of thing. But I don't think most of these are involved with combat photography, okay. but uh, okay. although we did have, um, we had both civilians and um, active duty personnel in the uh, military personnel in the in the class, okay. but it was it was interesting, and they yeah. they'll probably have me back again. At, uh, yeah. in the future, but. that's very that's very exciting, very <laughs> neat. So, um, and then uh, my last question for you is, what advice would you have for photographers that may be considering teaching a class, but maybe they're nervous or they're not sure? What would you say to them? Uh, well, first thing, obviously, is to get your curriculum. <laughs> That's a good starting point, as I found out. And like I say, if, if you want to modify it, you can do that. But but uh, the way you've laid everything out makes it very easy for, for people to learn how to, you know, what to do and how to do it. Uh, you know, combination of a workbook and, and slides. So it, uh, it's a great way. I, I think that's a good way to start out. And then, you know, just figure out how to get the word out. Mm -hmm. And that might be different for different people. Mm -hmm. um, like I say, most effective thing, most effective thing for me is my email list. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I find that people pass that along to other people that they know who may not be on my list and say, oh, yeah, I've got a friend that's interested in photography and, and has been looking for classes. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. Excellent advice. Thank you so much. And thank you for joining me today. Oh, sure. Uh, okay. Appreciate it. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Okay, thank you.